Hello Sagittarius, this is your X reading for the 7th through the 13th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I'm feeling like a lot of you guys feel very attached to someone that you feel like is your soulmate. But, um, you know, maybe you're having a hard time, you know, getting that across to them. Um, maybe some of you are needing forgiveness or needing to forgive someone here. Let's see what is currently going on with you guys. My Sagittarius friends. Yeah, Ace of Cups. A lot of you are healing. Um, I feel like, you know, you have offered your, your love to someone. And maybe it was like... It wasn't accepted um, and, and I feel like you, you kind of feel like this person probably is not um, going to accept it or that they don't love you or what whatever you know you guys are going through right now but the thing is you know you have the nine of swords under the bottom of the deck here and you know the nine of swords is all about you know overthinking um, you know exaggerating things things are that that are not necessarily true here okay i feel like a lot of you probably feel like this person is not going to forgive you um you know you want this relationship with this person and i think maybe either they went out and searched for something else or you guys actually did okay um and, and that's probably why you guys are not together currently so let's see what their current situation is. What is Sagittarius' ex current situation here? Oh, okay. Sagittarius ex, their current situation. I see a lot of worry, a lot of thinking going on here. Um, feeling trapped, not really knowing what to do, but you can kind of figure it out, I feel, this person. Let's see. Hmm. And then we have the lovers here. I think this person probably has, um, you know, they got, they've bit off more than they can chew is what I'm getting from this. That maybe they did actually choose someone else, a Gemini individual um, you may be dealing with. And um, I think they're, they're thinking they made a bad choice at this point. Honestly and truly is what I'm getting from this. This person maybe thought the grass is going to be greener on the other side. They thought they would have more success somewhere else. And I feel like now they are like rethinking it. It's like they've become aware of, you know, what it is that they've done and choosing the path that they have um, chosen. And, and wanting to come in and say something to you here with this Knight of Swords. You know, very kind of leery because I feel like they know they're, they're going to be held accountable for their actions with you. Okay? With this Eight of Wands under here. Um, that there needs to be some communication between the two of you. And, you know, some honest communication is what I'm getting here in order to bring this thing back together. Let's see how you guys perceive your ex here. Card fell out. How does Sagittarius perceive their ex? How does Sagittarius perceive their ex? Mm, yeah, you guys think they're in a loving relationship is what I'm getting here. I saw the Ten of Cups. Um, maybe you think they blocked you. Um, maybe you think that they're going to defend why they left or defend, you know, what they did, why they did it even. Um, you don't think they're going to back down is what I'm getting here. You really don't. Um, and maybe some of you feel like, you know, this person's upset too. And I feel like they are. I feel like they are, and I feel like they, they're probably thinking that you guys may have blocked them or will not accept them back after what they have done. Um, you know, if you know this person was with somebody else or chose somebody else, then, you know, that's what it is. And um, But I get the feeling that you guys will be willing to hear this person out. I, I really do, because um, I get that you love them. That's just what I get, okay? Let's see what your ex's perception is of you. Sagittarius ex. What is your perception of Sagittarius? That you've made your decision. Um, that you see things clearly. That you know exactly what it is that you want to do here. That's what they feel. 
Hmm. I feel like this person, yeah. Hmm. And then we have the Five of Pentacles under here. They know they've hurt you. They know they've hurt you. They know what they've done. They know that they left you feeling like maybe you weren't good enough. Um, that somebody was better than you. They know what they've done here to you guys, okay? And I feel like they are um, in this Nine of Swords energy with you. You know, just kind of really thinking about things over and over and over again. And then, you know, making their own reality out of their thoughts. And, you know, that sort of thing here. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. How does Sagittarius feel about getting back together? How does Sagittarius feel about getting back together here? Let's see. Mm, it's not a magician there. Let's see. I think you feel there needs to be some changes going on here. Um, I, and I think that you are definitely uh, optimistic about getting back together. But I think you need to see a change in them is what I'm getting here with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I think they need to initiate something with you. Yeah. They need to make the first move, especially if they're the ones that stepped out, you know. But only take that information if they stepped out, um, if you know it to be true. Okay? Don't try to make this fit if it does not fit, guys. Let's see what their perception is about getting back together here. What is their perception about getting back together? Mm -hmm. they're holding on um, I feel like they've also been holding on to the relationship but this is them really not wanting to change they're really not that open to change you know they're they're all about investing into themselves I feel and um, I, I think they really just don't want to be blasted or held accountable for their actions although I feel like this person really does want to be with you you know, they probably are, are kind of closed off right now um, because they just don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with the backlash of, of what has happened, I feel. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what you guys can do to bring this thing back together. What can Sagittarius do to bring this thing back together? I feel like it's move on. I feel like it's to, um, you know, just make the necessary changes for yourself at this point. Um, do the things that you feel like are best for you. Maybe it entails moving away or traveling, doing things for yourself, doing things, being selfish a little bit is what I'm getting here. Be selfish a little bit. Love yourself. Treat yourself. Indulge in yourself, you know, that sort of thing to move on. I feel like um, because if this person is steady, you know, holding on, holding back, then it's not for you to wait around. It's really not. Okay. Let's see what they can do. I keep seeing that Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Let's see what they can do to bring this back together. can they do to bring this back together they have the magician there I think I saw the magician in your, in your deck too mm. let's see what can they do one more shuffle guys to bring this back together cards are just sliding all over the place hmm I feel like this is only up to um Owning up to their shit, being the man, being the woman, taking accountability for their actions, um, being there for you, being supportive, giving of themselves. They need to be more giving of themselves. Um, you know, if there's something that they need to, you know, be truthful about, be truthful about it. You know, lending their time and energy to actually fix this situation and not running from it. Okay, some of them may actually, if they are divorced or still in a relationship, then um, they need to get out of it. 
okay? And invest their time with you. That's what I'm getting here, okay? This is only for those of you who know that this person has left um, for another connection, okay? For others of you, and I have to run this scenario, you know, that's what I got initially, I, you know, when I pull the cards. When I pull the cards, I give instinctively what I'm getting, okay? But, you know, there there's another situation here where, you know, this person is currently trying to decide between you and themselves here, okay? Thinking about what's best for them, whether it's best to be with you or not be with you. Whether it's best to be with you or be with someone else. Not that they're actually with that person currently. Okay. Now, then they feel like in this situation that you have actually made up your mind that you're not going to allow them back. Okay. For whatever reason they left. Whether they just wanted to be single or what have you. Okay. And now they're just like they're they're holding themselves you know close like they don't want to extend themselves to anybody they're investing in themselves here not really wanting to you know give anybody the time of day um being kind of selfish so if they want to be with you then they would have to be a little less selfish be more selfless you know what i mean so you know that's the other situation okay um, and again, definitely for some of you, this person left for somebody. But they are having a hard time right now because they're feeling like they made a mistake. They're not sure if you will accept them back because they feel like, you know, after what they've done, you've already made your decision. And they're not really trying to open up because they feel like, okay, what's the point? Because, you know, all they're going to do is shoot me down or whatever. So, you know, that is that. So let's see what the possible outcome is for you guys. What is the possible outcome for Sagittarius? The possible outcome for Sagittarius and their ex here. The Knight of Coins. I definitely feel like somebody is coming back here. Okay. Um, and, you know, usually in the traditional decks, the knight of coins, that horse is like stationary, not moving. You know, they move very slow like a turtle. This knight is not moving like a turtle. Okay. When this knight comes back, um, they have the ace of pentacles right there. They have a very grounded, stable offer. Okay. Something that is long lasting. But this, this knight plans their steps wisely. Okay. But they come back with something with some damn meat. Alright guys, so that is what I have for you. We have Cancer, Taurus, um, any other earth sign, Virgo, um, Capricorn energy here. We have Libra, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, maybe, alright? So I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.